The biggest barrier to earning extra money on the side is time. So to help you overcome this impossible hurdle of finding time between work, cooking, cleaning, family, kids, and all your other commitments to earn some good money on the side, I have compiled a list of the very best side hustles you can start today. This list will not be containing part-time jobs like delivering food, no low-income side hustles like online surveys, and I absolutely will not be recommending you start a business or God forbid, a YouTube channel. Ain't nobody got time for that. Around my busy life, I've personally used a combination of these six side hustles over the last five years, earning me over 25,000 pounds, which I've personally used to invest into the stock market. Realistically, using all six of these, you can make over 21,000 pounds in just the next 12 months. Let's get into the list and I'll save my personal favourite till last. The first is probably the easiest way to make several hundreds of pounds just with 30 minutes of work. Welcome to bank scalping. Banks know that it's notoriously hard to get customers to switch banks. Once you are there, you are done because most people cannot be bothered to move banks. Well, for this reason, banks throw silly money to get new customers like you to switch banks. But wait, I know what you're thinking. Nick, I don't want to move banks because that's a pain. I know, and that's why you can actually do this without moving banks. There is really no limit on how many bank accounts you can have in your name. So when the incentive is to switch bank accounts, you can always use a dummy account of yours to do this, all the while your existing bank account is completely left alone. Let me give you an example of a current offer by First Direct, who are currently offering £170 if you open an account with them and then deposit £1,000 into the account in the first 28 days. Yes, £1,000 might be a lot initially, but there are other smaller offers with even lower requirements that you can do to build up to get there. This way, you can take advantage of more and more offers as time goes on. How much can you make from this? Well, currently there are six offers with a combined payout of £781, but there are new offers appearing all the time with new banks. So I can safely say that over the next 12 months, you can easily make over £1,000 with little much as one hour's work every three months. £1,000 isn't bad for just four hours work a year. Right? But if you are stuck for a bit of startup money to take advantage of these offers, then the next side hustle has you covered as you can make money completely from scratch. At two, we have a not so well-known app called Roamler. Roamler was founded in the Netherlands, but it's now widely used all across Europe. The app is super simple. Big brands want people to go into retail and hospitality outlets to make sure their latest flavor of noodle or maybe a new range of dog food or even the latest gin is being stocked on the shelves in the store near you. Brands like Pepsi, Revlon and Peroni want your help and they're willing to pay for it. The Roma app offers a range of tasks from simply taking photos of certain shelves, maybe actually buying the product or even sampling it for you in the form of buying a pint from your local pub. And I'm being serious on that one, that is actually a task on the app. And you do all this and get paid for doing so. The beauty is that there is no minimum requirement for this. Simply do tasks whenever you want. Personally, I do tasks while I'm already out and about. Within the last month, I was quite literally doing a food shop and I noticed there was a task in the aisle next to me that I needed to take three photos for and I got paid four pounds for doing so. The work nearly comes to me. Since starting to use the app back in 2017, I've made over three and a half thousand pounds, but in just the last 12 months, I've made 1,400 pounds without chasing tasks. It's hard to estimate how much time I actually spend using Roamla, but I would estimate over one hour a week, which is made up of loads of little tasks between five and 15 minutes while I'm already out there. The only catch is that you need to be referred to use the app. So if you check out the description below, I've actually got a link to show you how to get referred. Three is one that you might have never have considered before, but you really should. And it's renting out your car parking space. If you live near a city, a town center, a sports stadium, or a busy high street, or even train station, then this could be for you. Commuters find parking one of the biggest pains and having to pay for parking is astronomical meaning they are more than happy to fork out big money for your car parking space as it's actually probably half the price than they would pay normally but you're probably thinking how am i going to find commuters who are looking for a car parking space near me nick well that is actually super simple there's websites like yourparkingspace.co.uk it's a platform which marries up people with car parking spaces and people who are needing car parking spaces. Let's say I wanted to look for a car parking space where I went to university, for example. If I just drop the postcode into here and hit search, 
The results showed that I could rent out a car parking space here for a whole month from anywhere between 50 to 150 pounds per month. And this isn't just a one-off. You could pick somewhere rural like Bridge North, for example, and you could rent out a space for 20 pounds per month or even somewhere on the coast like Skegness for 50 pounds a month. It's well worth having a look at how much you could make in your postcode. It might just surprise you how much someone is willing to pay to park on your drive just Monday to Friday. On average, I would say you could make 500 pounds per year with as little as one hour of setup and maybe 15 minutes per month just to keep on top of it. Number four is product flipping on Facebook Marketplace. You would be amazed how lucrative this can be and how big the variety of niches that there are to make money. Uh, please don't be fooled into discounting this method straight away. Facebook Marketplace is a very much a digital version of a garage sale. It's full of people who are basically clearing out an attic or a spare bedroom with little regard to the value of the actual items that they're selling. And this is what you can take advantage of. How you make money is simple. You buy low and you sell high, but there are many varieties of ways of doing so. The first method is really straightforward. You're simply buying things like gym equipment, computer chairs and bikes and then selling them for more. But a great tactic is that people actually buy from Facebook Marketplace where people tend to be more desperate to sell and then resell them on websites like eBay for a markup. The next strategy is what I call upcycling but it isn't as hard as you think it is. Some people are terrible at taking photos of the products they're selling, making them look less valuable. I know people that buy products, take better photos of them, relist them on Facebook Marketplace at a profit, and they sell. Or there's other tactics, like if you have a large car or maybe even have access to a van, you'll actually be amazed at how many people give stuff away for free because they're moving house. Chest of drawers, sofas, and cupboards. You can actually collect these for free and then you could actually resell them online because you can deliver them. Maybe you're getting a free sofa and then reselling it for 80 or even 200 pounds. Personally, I would avoid buying things like shoes or fashion items as a lot of them can be fake. This is one of those side hustles which is harder to pinpoint a time and value, but the longer you do this, the better you are at spotting a good deal. For me, I have several friends who swear by this and believe it can be incredibly easy to make £100 per month just as a beginner with little effort. It might take a few attempts at first to find your feet, but once you find a niche that you're really good at and you like, it could be really profitable. An easy £1,200 profit or more per year for as little as five minutes looking at Marketplace a few times per week. Fifth on the list is house hacking, which is a side hustle that I always wanted to do myself. Basically, house hacking is the best way to become a landlord without actually having to buy a separate house. The vast majority of homeowners have bedrooms in their house which are not used regularly. Couple this with the fact that the cost of renting is increasing more and more every year means that people are desperate to find ways to cut their rent down. There are plenty of websites where you can find lodgers and a good example would be spareroom.co.uk. But there are others out there where you can simply say what you have to offer and what you're willing to charge on a weekly or monthly basis. The biggest perk here is actually how much you can make from doing this. It will depend on your area, but the average rate is around £600 per month for somebody to occupy one of your bedrooms and maybe use some of the facilities around the house. Yes, there'll be an increase in utility bill, but you should easily be able to make £500 per month with house hacking based on just one lodger. Roughly £6,000 profit for a few hours setting up a profile on a website advertising your vacancy. The last on my list is by far my favourite alongside Romla, and that is matched betting. For me, it has been the most successful side hustle so far where I made £17,000 in just 18 months. So what is matched betting? It is simply taking advantage of offers which betting companies give to new and existing customers. So it's a bit like taking advantage of maybe a buy one, get one free deal at your local supermarket. But in this case, you can make money from it. Well, that's what you're basically doing with these betting companies, except it's insanely profitable. Before you think that you need some kind of Rayman abilities or a deep knowledge of sports or even needing to take risks to make money, then stop as all of this is not the case. I would actually go as far to say that you'll probably be better in match betting if you've actually never bet on sports ever in your life. Similar to bank scalping, betting companies are desperate to bring new customers in and keep existing customers coming back. In order to do this, they offer lucrative deals to do so. For example, Bet365 are currently offering bet £10, get £50 free to new customers. Well, it looks good, Nick, but what happens if I lose my £10 bet 
and then lose my £50 bet. Well, what if I told you there was a way of guaranteeing that you'd make £35 profit from this, no matter if your football team, your horse, or your tennis player lost? Well, you might not believe me, but you'd be missing out. And there's plenty of free guides online to go through the process of match betting step by step. And I'll make sure I'll link one in the description below. There is one downside with match betting though. All the other side hustles in this video you can do indefinitely. You can continue scalping banks, using Roamler, flipping on Facebook Marketplace, and even house hack for the rest of your life. But match betting only has a limited shelf life. Eventually, bookmakers will catch on to what you're doing and they will gub you, which is a term used in the match betting community to say that betting websites ban you from taking part in their promotions. For me, I took advantage of over 80 different bookmakers over a period of 18 months to make my £17,000 before I was eventually gubbed too much to bother continuing. On average, I would say I was spending around three to five hours a week doing this, which means I was making roughly £40 profit per hour while just sat at home. So I don't think it's too bad. So that's my list. But if you want to know more about my current favorite side hustle Roamler, then I'd highly recommend you check out this video right here. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.